Hello BigTube! Hello friends! Welcome to Lizzie Fay Loves Books. I'm Elizabeth and today is Saturday. It is March 20th, the first day of spring. I have just come from our ladies brunch at our church. We have a spring brunch every spring except last spring because everything was canceled but we were very excited to get to do it uh, this year and I got to lead the music. Our theme this year was Roses Among Thorns so that explains my rosy blouse that I'm wearing. It really makes me look pink though. Um, <laughs> of course I guess I am pink but uh, while I was dressed I thought I would just go ahead and film this video and then I'm gonna probably go get comfortable and get some reading done but for now I am excited to show you the cozy mysteries that I have acquired over the past few weeks. I have been in a book shopping mood lately. Our local library had a book sale just a couple of days ago and I was able to get several cozy mysteries there and over the past month, month and a half, I have managed to make it around to a variety of used bookstores that are in our area and a little beyond and I have found several books not just cozy mysteries but that's all I'm going to show you today because it's March Mystery Madness so I'm excited because I have found a few books from series that I've started reading that I was missing and then several from series that I've been collecting that I have not started reading and then a few from series that I'm interested in so let's just get started the first one I want to show you is from the scrapbooking series by Laura Childs this is book nine skeleton letters and I I've been collecting this series for years. In fact, I have only read one book so far, but I think this was the first Cozy Mystery series that I started collecting because I've been a scrapbooker from way back and when I was volunteering doing book sales at our library, I remember seeing them for the first time and thinking, wow, there's books about scrapbooking. How cool. And I started collecting them right away. So uh, anyway, book nine is Skeleton Letters, and this is a series I really need to get to. I've been noticing several of the Laura Child's books have been popping up on audio on Hoopla. For a long time, there were none. And then I think the Cackleberry Club was the first ones to start appearing there. And I am supposed to start those this month. Those are on my TBR for March Mystery Madness, but I have not yet, and uh, I still plan to, though. I, I'm, I'm going to try, but I'm very interested in all of her series and um, scrapbooking especially because I love scrapbooking. And then my most exciting find over the past few weeks has been the last two books in the White House Chef Mystery Series by Julie Heisey. This is series became a new favorite of mine last year when I read the first book, State of the Onion. I thought it was fantastic. And this is books seven and eight or eight and nine and eight and nine. And I think I have the whole series now. Book number eight, All the President's Menus. I just found this this past Thursday at our library and I was so excited to find it. And then book nine is Foreign Eclairs. And I think I found this at a used bookstore in St. Pete when I was over there a few weeks ago. I can't even remember the occasion, but somehow I found myself there at Wilson's bookstore and that is a used bookstore that's been there for years. They have recently, well in the past couple of years they've changed locations, but um, it is a store that's owned by the granddaughter of the person who first opened it many years ago. So I was excited to find this book there and now I think I have that whole series. So then a few books from series that I've been collecting that I haven't started yet. This is Red and Buried by Erica Chase. This is book two in the Ashton Book Club series. And I have book one already and I had a couple books later in the series, but I didn't have book two. And I found this at a used bookstore uh, north of Orlando when I went there a couple weeks ago for a color guard competition. This one I think I just found the other day at my local library at the book sale. They did fill a bag for a dollar. Now the um, all the president's menus was not part of the fill a bag. I, I had a chance to go back in their book room and look at some of the books that hadn't gone out on the shelves yet. So I had to pull, pay full price for this one which was a whopping 50 cents. But um, oh my goodness I was so excited to find that last book that I needed for the series. This one was in my fill a bag for a dollar. Pie a la Murder by Melinda Wells. This is book four in the Della Cooks mystery series. I have one and three already and so now I have four. I still don't have book two. I think there's five in this series and I believe this is about a woman who has a cooking show. And then this is a series I think Becky from the Bookish Bryants is reading. This 
of this year for March Mystery Madness. It's by Patricia Sprinkle. This is book nine, Guess Who's Coming to Die. I have several from this series, but I cannot find books one and two. I just looked at my library website, though, last night, and thankfully our library does have books one and two because I need to get to this series. It looks really fun. It's the Thoroughly Southern Mysteries and... Um, yeah, if it has the word Southern in it, I am going to be drawn to it. And the last one from series that I've been collecting and haven't read is from the Annie's Mysteries Unraveled. This is book seven. It is called Unraveled Tidings. And this one looks suspiciously like a Christmas themed book. There are 12 books in this series. I think all of the Annie series, except for the original, which has more than 12, uh, I think all of them have 12 books per series. My sister has read the Annie's Quilted Mysteries and really enjoyed those. I've got most of them, and uh, now I've got a pretty good collection of this series as well. And then, actually, I do have one more from a series that I've been collecting, although I have already collected all of these. I picked this up for a friend. This is Arkansas Traveler by Erling Fowler, and I have another duplicate of another book from this series sitting over here waiting to be mailed to a friend of mine named Erlene. And she has been collecting these books, and um, I don't think, I, I actually don't know if she has this one or not. The one I have sitting over here waiting to mail to her, I know she doesn't have. But I picked this up at the fill a bag for a dollar sale, and I thought, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and grab it. And I'll find out later if she has it or not. So I'm going to include this one in her package as well. And then I've got three more from series that I have not been collecting up to this point. Two of them are first in series. But this one is third in a series. It just looked fun. And it was part of that fill bag for a dollar. A Deadly Dealer. This is book three in the Collectible Mysteries. This is by J.B. Stanley. J.B. Stanley is also Jennifer Stanley. And Jennifer Stanley is also... Ellery Adams. So I misspoke the other day during a live show when we were talking about Ellie Alexander. I got my Ellie's and Ellery's mixed up. Ellie Alexander does have another pseudonym and that is Kate Dyer Seeley. But Ellery Adams is also J.B. Stanley and Jennifer Stanley. So this book is uh, book number three in this particular series, A Deadly Dealer. I've got at least a couple of her books under the Jennifer Stanley name. I think it's the Hope Street Church series, and I haven't read anything by her under either of the Stanley names, but I have read um, one of her other books under her Ellery Adams name, and now I'm second-guessing myself. <laughs> I'm almost positive I have, but I'm not going to say it because I don't want to misspeak again. Anyway, I've got two more books here, and they are both first in series. I am so excited to find this one. This is one of my favorite titles, Murder with Fried Chicken and Waffles. This is by A.L. Herbert. This is book one in the Mahalia Watkins Soul Food Mystery Series. Does that not sound awesome? I am so excited about that one. And then this one is the one I'm probably most likely to read next of this batch because this is Murder in an Irish Village by Carlene O'Connor. And if you saw my video about the books that my Mystery Book Club will be reading this year, for December we are reading book six of this series because it's a Christmas-themed book. So I would kind of like to go ahead and uh, read up to that point. These are all on Hoopla, on audio, and I think that uh, it would be very doable for me to go ahead and get through these this year. Now, speaking of what my book club is reading, you may have noticed that it looks a little different behind me. Now, if you saw the uh, video about what my mystery book club is reading, I had the books up here for that video. These are not them. These are the books that my regular book club is reading this year, and I am going to be doing that video soon, but I'm still missing one, and... <laughs> It's one I've already read. It was our February book, but I still kind of want to have the whole set behind me before I get started. Now, I did have to make one substitute because Sunflower Sisters by Martha Hall Kelly is not out until the 30th of this month. So I've got, uh, I've got Lilac Girls here with a piece of tape over it. But anyway, you get the idea. I'll be doing this video very soon. Even if I can't get a hold of the final book that I need, I'll just go ahead and uh, and show you these in another video. Meanwhile, that's all the cozy mysteries that I have acquired recently. Let me know if you have read any of these series or if you are planning to read any of these series. And um, let's just chat in the comments. So I hope you're having a fun March Mystery Madness and Middle Grade March and whatever else you are reading for the month of March. That's all for this video. I hope you're having a great day. Read a good book and God bless you.